Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nathan here and today I have come with a very amazing problem. It's a quite challenging problem but uh, the trick we are going to use will make it a very easy problem and it will open the do door for uh, many such problems. And guys, you can unlock one more trick problem with the 700 likes. In the last problem we had a goal of uh, 700 but we are uh, much behind. All right. And this type of problem can come definitely in uh, J advanced type of exam. It's a very simple problem. And guys, liking, sharing, subscribing is a love. Already you are doing that. So keep doing it. Guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and uh, Unacademy together. And name of this problem is the stable equilibrium of rods on a cylinder. Guys, my current courses on Unacademy are uh, course of INPHO Foundation and uh, for J advanced 2023 and emerge for je uh, 2023 kinematics and uh, work power energy and circular motion will be starting in these batches and advanced problem solving course uh, for je advanced 2021 with the two phases it has been over we will take a call after je mains on the phase uh, three of this and uh, advanced course for je 2022 in hindi is already going on uh, we are doing current electricity at the moment and uh, course on rotational mechanics is uh, also currently going on guys you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for uh, boosting your j preparation you can unlock these courses on unacademy using my code nathan sir and uh, more for more info you can visit www.unacademy.com and guys trust me physics will never be the same again so here is the problem statement uh, two non-uniform rods each of length l are joined with each other at point o making an angle of theta with each other uh, this half angle I have taken uh, theta uh, from the language it is looking like entire angle is theta plus uh, take care of this the rods are having linear mass density of lambda x is equal to lambda naught x by L where x is measured from point O the system is placed on a uh, cylinder of uh, radius uh, R as shown what should be the minimum value of uh, L by R so that system can be in a stable equilibrium so by the first look guys this problem looks uh, very tough let me know uh, after trying this problem how many of you could get the correct answer and uh, the approach wise also so concept wise center of mass of this non-uniform rod it's very simple i'm not doing going to do the calculations so xm is integral xdm and dm is lambda x dx so when you substitute uh, you will be getting this xm as uh, 2l by 3 from the end o all right uh, now, uh, the trick which we are going to use is uh, uh, as long as there is a, some restoring force or restoring torque present in the system, we will say system will be in stable equilibrium. It will come back. So for that trick here is uh, going to be, so as long as center of mass of this rod system is lying below the center of uh, this uh, cylinder, uh, there will be torque due to mg will be restoring in nature and it will bring it back and as long as the cent combined center of mass is above the center of uh, the cylinder uh, mg will provide a torque where we will displace it slightly and mg torque will uh, pull it and uh, it will be just uh, going in unstable equilibrium or it will just move away from this it will not come back so this trick you need to keep in mind and uh, many such problems can be there on a cylinder there can be a wire there can be l shaped rod or maybe there can be l shaped rod with some uh, dumbbells here some spheres here or any such problems so we are going to use this uh, logic here so you can see uh, the normal reaction from the rods in equilibrium is going to be like this right so that is not going to provide any torque about this center so in the end only it is the torque of uh, mg of these two rods combined uh, all right so i am taking here initially when uh, rod is in equilibrium mg line of action of mg is passing through this point and it is in equilibrium let's say if the center c is uh, slightly above this so you can see here uh, when we try to rotate the system of uh, these two rods about the center uh, o here or c so you can see this mg will uh, point of action uh, point of application of this mg combined mg that is total mass of the rod into g so if mass of one rod is m i can write 2 mg so that will pass through this point and it will uh, just uh, rotate this system of uh, these two rods and it will be in unstable equilibrium 
all right we can see it like this also so i'm just taking a particular case particular uh, length l for which center of mass is just passing through this and it will stay in equilibrium now in the next diagram if i take uh, combined center of mass of these two rods slightly below this and if we if i try to rotate this system of rods about this uh, cylinder uh, see you will see about this point a this is going to rotate like this this is going to rotate like this and here torque of uh, mr into g where the mr is 2m actually so it will bring it back to this uh, it will bring it back to this side right so in this case we can say torque is restoring in nature if we displace it right side it is going to bring it towards uh, the mean position again so this will be uh, uh, stable equilibrium in this case i can say so for stable equilibrium distance of uh, this a a is the center of the cylinder a and o it should be less than the distance between point o and combined center of mass of these two rods so i can say oc should be greater than oa right so oc value you can see here this is uh, 2l by 3 here 2l by 3 so combined center of mass will be at the midpoint so this distance is 2l by 3 and now 2l by 3 so oc will be 2l by 3 cos theta again guys in the problem it is giving the feel that entire angle is uh, theta but uh, what i meant was this angle was theta i'm doing the calculation as per that so i hope you can understand so you can see this part uh, carefully uh, that this distance is 2l by 3 and its uh, cos theta component is this oc it should be greater than OA. OA is this distance. So you, you can see this right angle triangle. You can see this uh, right angle triangle here. OA sin theta is R. So OA sin theta is R. So I can write OA is R by sin theta. All right. Now I can just rearrange this term because we have to comment on L by R ratio. So L by R should be greater than uh, 3 by 2 sin theta cos theta and 2 sin theta cos theta I can write as uh, sin 2 theta so this L by R ratio for this particular case will become uh, it should be greater than 3 by 2 sin theta all right I hope you are able to understand this uh, part so minimum value of L by R is 3 by 2 sin theta this is going to be the final answer for this problem uh, and uh, in this modification different modifications can be there can be a parabola of length uh, l or maybe they they, they can uh, place a cap also uh, or uh, two three uh, rods they can place or uh, rods with uh, some dumbbells here or masses here or any such possibility any curve they can give here so logic remains same so i hope you can uh, able to proceed in all such problems so if you guys you have enjoyed this problem please leave a like share this problem with others i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem so in the meantime keep liking keep sharing and keep subscribing guys thank you thanks for watching it